Well, are any of us really surprised? Are we really surprised at the unpresidential conduct that took place on the Fox interview last night? Are we really surprised? You know what astounds me, and all politicians do this, but she blamed somebody else for every single issue that was brought up. She took no accountability for the unprecedented failures in our economy, in the lack of housing, the violence in our streets because of her failure to secure the border, her failure. That was her one job as vice president, her failure. But yet every single time she was pressed for an answer, it was always somebody else's fault. And ironically, she blames the last 10 years of all of the problems in our country because of somebody else. When the Democrats have been in control 12 of the last 16 years. Her inhumility was staggering. Her ability to look into a camera and apologize for young lives that were stolen because of illegal people in our country was staggering. And what an insult to those family members. That's not presidential. I'm sorry. Sometimes you just have to take a big deep breath, take a big gulp and accept responsibility and she cannot do that. She also proved without a shadow of a doubt watching that interview that she can't control herself in high situations of pressure. She got pissed off. That was very evident. She was insulted because she was being asked questions. Well, honey, Madam Vice President, if you want this job, you better be ready to get hard questions. She can't do it. She has no humility. She has no presidential skills whatsoever. Every single time, it was Donald Trump's fault. So Donald Trump is responsible for every single thing that's wrong in our land today, even though he's been out of the presidency for four years. He is responsible when he's had no leadership duties, skills, privileges in four years. And he is completely responsible for all the rhetoric. Yet yesterday, Yesterday, if you go to any leftist media outlet, he is Hitler. He's going to invade your homes if you disagree with him and don't vote for him, which he never said. You take everything that is said and you twist it into this violent rhetoric that's, that threatens the American people. You are the ones, you, the left. Madam Vice President and Mr. President and all the rest of the leftist elitists that are running your Democratic Party, you are the ones that are threatening the American people. You are. You are threatening them with your words and your rhetoric. You don't give the American people any, any credit for being able to see through your gaslighting, and your constant, constant, it's somebody else's fault. No, it's not somebody else's fault. It's your fault. You have been in power for four years. Four years. It's not somebody else's fault. It is your fault. Whether you are willing to accept it or not, she even said in her interview last night, well, you got to take responsibility for what happens in your administration. Oh, I guess that's for everybody else except you, Madam Vice President. Everybody else has to take accountability except you. Is that correct? Because that's exactly what you said last night with Brett Baer. And by the way, who do you think you are?
You think it's okay to just show up late? When you've made a commitment, you know the processing of how the timeline was going to go, and you deliberately did that. And you think that that's presidential? What a colossal, colossal failure. You demonstrated last night what all of those people who were on the fence and concerned about, you demonstrated and confirmed every single one of their concerns last night. I am completely staggered at your conduct, the way you presented yourself, it proves without a shadow of doubt to me that there is no way, no way that you can internationally stand your ground with Putin and Xi Jinping or Iran. You just do not have it. And I certainly hope that those on the fence who were still giving you an opportunity to prove yourself realized last night that you're just not presidential. You just do not have the skill set. It's all a bunch of words. It's filibustering. It's not delivering policy. It's not delivering solutions or answers or taking accountability or showing humility or showing leadership. What you showed last night was just a pissed off woman because she was backed into a corner and she didn't like the answers that, she didn't like the questions that were being asked of her. And you lie, you lie. You know the situation with President Biden and you lie. Ultimately, it's up to the American people. What a disgrace you are, I'm sorry. A disgrace and you do not have presidential material or skills to be the most powerful person in the world unfortunately you just don't at the end of the day you add it all up and the skills are just not there